Hey guys, welcome to Vet Ranch. I'm Dr. Carrie, and this is our newest patient. Does he have a name? Oh, so bear. Bear bear. Um, but this guy was uh, found, supposedly found. We don't really know. Um, and his face started swelling. So we are assuming because of the time of year and the amount of snake bites we've seen that he was bit by a snake. So we are going to go ahead and put a catheter in, an IV catheter, give him some anti-venin and see what the heck is going on down there. He's got extreme swelling and his neck is kind of ruptured open and abscessed. I don't even know how old this little guy is, but he feels terrible and we owe him some pain meds and some antibiotics. So let's get started. All right, we are thawing out our anti-venin here and it'll be ready in a couple minutes. So we're gonna get an IV catheter in this little guy. Come on, big guy. We need to think of a better name. No way. Okay, kid. Go do some meds, huh? We're giving the anti venin, and we've decided to call him Fergus and he really likes his hydromorphone for pain. Hey, Ferg. Hey, Fergus. This is Fergus. About uh, 18 hours after administering <clears throat> the anti-venom, Fergus's face looks slightly better. I would, I would say significantly better. <clears throat> A little bit of an appetite this morning. <laughs> hey, buddy. I know, I know. Don't play with snakes. But he's still receiving his fluids this morning, antibiotics for secondary infection, um, but just resting comfortably. This is Fergus's parasite screen, and as you can see, uh, those are all hookworms. Tons of hookworms on this guy, and so we will treat him appropriately, but this is certainly not uncommon for a uh, pup of his nature living uh, kind of on his own for a while. Fergus! Day three of Fergus. Gave him some flea medicine yesterday. You may be able to see some little flea droppings on the towel where the snake bit him. It has opened up pretty good. So we're gonna have to keep him on antibiotics and uh, possibly sedate him to clean that out. But gosh, he's doing good. As you can tell, he scarfs his food down. Where's my, there. Fergus here this morning, day two. We're gonna pull his catheter. He's eating like a champ. So we're gonna switch him to oral meds uh, and, and go from there. We, we're also gonna do some uh, pain meds and antibiotics. Fergus to look at his neck. Good. Better, but we need to clean it I'll up. Try it above there. Here is the area on his neck. It looks so much better. We, it's crazy how fast puppies heal. We're gonna clean that out really good. Keep him on antibiotics, and then we are most importantly gonna neuter him today.
All right, we just gave him his vaccines, microchipped him, um, and then here is his little neck. It looks so good. It's not a pocket anymore. It's just all granulating in. So he should be adopted pretty quick. The body is amazing. <laughs> cool. Wow, dude. We did. have been feeding this little turkey by hand because he gets a little bananas <laughs> over food. He gets a little food yeah. aggressive. So that's okay. We're like, Sometimes. you're gonna eat the food from us, and he's already doing better. We are here with Fergus, uh, and Fergus is due for a DHPPL vaccine today. He's clearly partial to her. Good. You're the squeeze cheese. Oh, yeah. Just keep licking her. Little vaccine. Didn't even. So good, baby. So good. Baby. Good deal. Okay. You're better than squeeze cheese. Good boy. Oh, Marcus. Oh, Marcus. watching and sharing our videos and we'll see you on the next case bye Fergus Fergus he's a crazy crazy dog he's a crazy boy so happy Let's go. he's a maniac you guys think oh oh gosh <laughs> if I let him down he's still got that I don't know Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say?